right, so we made it to day 30 of the 90 days no alcohol challenge. My name is Chris Altamirano. If you haven't been following the journey, go ahead and check out some of the, pr the previous videos. Um, I've been doing a 90 days no alcohol challenge for various reasons. You can go check out all the other videos if you haven't already done so. But for those of you who have been keeping up, thank you so much. I appreciate all the feedback, the comments. Um, haven't been a ton of comments, but for those uh, very few select people that have been leaving comments, trust me, it really helps. I do appreciate it. So yeah, I made it 30 days into it. I'm feeling really, really good. I kind of wanted to do a recap of the 30 days. Um, Cause you know, with anything you're challenging yourself, there's going to be some highs, going to be some lows. Um, but honestly, I have felt nothing but really, really high in a, a natural way. And it feels really, really good to, again, not wake up and be hungover, um, to have clear skin, to have my clothes fitting a little bit better, um, just to have an overall better sense of well-being. And I can honestly say that 30 days in, I, when I first started the first week, I thought it was going to be really, really hard. Trust me. And psychologically it was, but I noticed that it just came down to habits and the routines and the rituals. So it was only a matter of really breaking the rituals, right? Because I would go out to eat and I would eat out a lot. So I started buying more food at the grocery store like any uh, sane human being would to save money, obviously. But I noticed that I wasn't, um, you know, having any thirst for a beer at any point in time. Um, and that's always really, really good. But anytime I would go out, you know, and the wait waiter would come up or waitress would come up and ask, hey, can I get you a drink? I would say, yeah, you know, what kind of IPAs do you have? What kind of pale ales do you have? What kind of beer do you have? And that would always be my first question. And then I would sit there and kind of like, yeah, can I get a sample of this? Can I get a sample of that? And I would have like two or three samples until I'm like, yeah, this is the right one. This is, or, or, or what's your favorite? Or what's most popular? Um, and so it feels really nice not to do that. Um, I know from reading different articles that a lot of people have had a hard time giving up booze or beer specifically or alcohol in general. Um, because they feel like it's going to have a huge impact on your social life. And let me tell you, I thought that that was going to be me as well. But what I noticed was I genuinely don't like being at bars or clubs. I, I just, I fucking don't. Some people, you know, glorify it and they go and, you know, you watch all these music videos and it looks super fun. Um, but if you've ever been to a club and you try to have a conversation with somebody, it's really, really loud and you just can't do it. And, um, I'm, I, th there's this really funny video on Facebook where it's like, uh, you know, men, men hunting at clubs and it's like the pursuit of, it's like these three dudes in a forest and it's like the dude that narrates the, uh, that, that earth series on Nat Geo. And it's like these three guys trying to go and, and, uh, and pursue these three women. That's exactly what it's like. If you're a single male and you're out at clubs, I mean, you obviously have women looking at you and you're looking at some of these chicks and you're just like, man, she's hot. And, and it's just like, I don't know. I just, I guess I just like, I'm kind of over the game. Maybe it's my age. Um, or maybe it's just that I'm coming to my sober senses and I'm just like, wow, like what the fuck was I doing? Like, what am I doing there? Um, so I, I just kind of realized more and more that I don't actually need those types of social settings in order to have a sense of social fulfillment and well-being. I can totally get it from making these videos, from interacting with people when I go to the gym, from spending time with my family and just a few select friends. Um, and I think that's really all you need. I, I don't think you need to get bombarded or I've noticed that I don't need to be in a presence of like total strangers and feel like I need to socialize in order to have like that, that, that little hole of, of a void of, of my social piece of the puzzle in life filled. I could totally get it in other places. Um, plus sometimes I'd rather just hang out with my dog cause they just, they're, I like my dogs. And so yeah, I've noticed that that's really good. Um, I've also realized from not drinking for 30 days that there are a lot of people that I was hanging out with or certain environments that I was putting myself in. And I try to think of like, okay, what were the benefits of being in those environments? Um, you know, where there was a ton of alcohol. Well, for one, it's very easy to talk to people and socialize and for the type of business that I do, um, I'm in the renewable energy industry. Um, sometimes you'll talk to some folks who are a little older and they own their home and maybe they want some solar, right? But if I can count on my hand how many deals I've gotten from that, it's like, there's actually really none. I've had a few sit downs and appointments, but I haven't actually, it never really went anywhere. I mean, I think it's one of those things and it's just more of like sales, like anytime someone's gonna purchase something, like, like friends have a better, uh, friends can basically tell you no. Whereas if you're gonna be in like a business appointment, it's a business appointment. 
Uh, but when you're at a bar, you're really just like making friends with somebody and you're having a good time and you're, you know, you're, you're shooting the can or shooting the shit and you're just getting really friendly with somebody and I feel like there's just ulterior intentions behind it as to why you're there. And, and plus, anytime I would go out to a bar or something, I would just want to enjoy good beer and relax. It wasn't really to, to go in and do business or anything of that nature. So I realized that nothing really good came out of it. If anything, there was always poor decisions when it came to alcohol. One thing, there's this commercial going around too, is I would never consider myself someone who smoked cigarettes. The smell is absolutely fucking repulsive. I just, I can't stand it. But get three or four or five drinks in me and I'm in a social setting, it's like I need to put something in my hand and I'll end up smoking a cigarette, and which will lead to maybe two or three cigarettes. And the next thing you know, I'm buzzed, I like the head change, and I'm like, oh crap, like I'm smoking. And waking up in your bed the next morning and having that, that like cigarette breath and you're hungover and you're dehydrated and you had plans that day or you had plans the day after, but you have to like postpone stuff. And like, it's almost like when you drink, you like push the shit that you had planned out of your life or you show up and you're not sharp between the ears. And you know, it's kind of one of those things. I actually had this really cool quote and it said, um, it said, um, the person that you want to be, you need to, you have to assess your desk. And if the desk doesn't have the stuff that fits who that person is, you need to clear your desk. And so it's one of those things where I realized like, hey, like is this, is this really supporting me? Is it, is it really putting me, pushing me in the direction that I wanna go in? And the answer is absolutely not. Now don't get me wrong, will I have a beer again? Probably yes, probably yes. Will I celebrate with a, a glass of champagne you know, after a big business transaction? And you know, maybe it was something huge, like you know, a merger that you see like on some Hollywood movies. Who knows? Who knows? Um, maybe so. I I'm not sure. Um, but in terms of like having it in my everyday immediate life and having it as something that like I felt like I always needed, um, the answer is no. Um, I don't. But um, another thing I realized was, if I, I like sports, I love soccer. Played soccer most of my life. I love basketball. Um, two two favorite sports right there. Um, during the summertime, if I want to go watch like an NBA game, or even now if I want to go watch like a Champions League match, I notice that there aren't too many spots where sports and um, a non-alcohol based environment are coexisting. It's not like you're just like, hey, let's go, you know, grab some coffee and watch the game. There's just not a lot of spots like that. Or hey, let's go get some tea and watch the game. Or hey, let's just go get some food and watch the game. And normally, if you did want to go get some food somewhere and watch the game, it's the TVs are usually where. Well, they're at the bar and I realized like whoa like it's almost like it's just been designed that way um, so that was a really interesting epiphany too but overall um, the uh, aside from those few <laughs> those few epiphanies I know it went over a little bit um, whoops the I would say the best thing that I've realized is again just the overall sense of control um, the sense of well-being the sense of, that that I can dictate who I am and, and what I want to do. Um, and it, it's really led me to think more in the future of who I'm becoming, because I do want to become a father one day and, and an amazing husband to my wife and just an amazing, like I said, amazing father to my kids and that, that don't exist yet. But it's the habits that I create now. And if I'm keeping these habits up, then what example would that be for them? So that was a big epiphany. So Excited for what the next 30 days are going to bring. Again, uh, if you got any value from this, my name is Chris Altamirano. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you guys can get the updates for the next video. And as always, I appreciate all comments, feedback, or you know, thumbs up, even thumbs down. If you don't like it, leave a comment. Tell me why you didn't like it. Um, but I appreciate all the support and all the views. Um, and I hope this is helping you on your journey if you're on the same journey too. So I will see you next week for week five. Take care.